Mr. Rajesh Bhatia, who is the CFO of Uflex, the company has posted a consolidated loss after tax of 416 or crore rupees in this quarter. However, this was largely due to an exceptional item. Mr. Bhatia, welcome to uh, Business Today TV. Uh, Sakshi the side and with me is also my colleague Shail Patnagar. My first question to you is uh, about this exceptional item you took in this quarter gone by, which led to a loss in June quarter. Do you see this as a one-off or could this also continue in the coming quarters? I think uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to how the things emerge because uh, Nigeria recently depacked its currency from a from a central bank bank related exchange, uh, you know, uh, given uh, exchange rate to a market parity. So there may be some more surprises uh, in the next quarters or a few. All also depends on as to how the dollar behaves. You know, internationally we've seen that in many jurisdictions we are present. We seen the dollar shortage like, you know, last year Egypt was the key in terms of the losses we took on account of the devaluation of Egyptian pound versus the dollars. So I think both things are playing a part. One is uh, removal of a fixed pack by uh, Central Bank of Nigeria and the dollar availability in many of these, uh, you know, upcoming economies. Uh, I'll keep my uh, fingers crossed over the next few quarters as I see uh, you know, the exchange parity is stabilizing. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Mr. Bhatia. Uh, a brief about Uflex. Uh, uh, it's uh, selling flexible packaging solutions in India and uh, is the maker of uh, Bopet films. These are biaxially oriented uh, polyethylene tetrathylate films, uh, which you see on window screens, on your car screens, etc. Mr. Bhatia, welcome to Business Today Television. Uh, it's been a very bad phase uh, for the entire industry. You are no exception. Uh, when do you see uh, the overall flexible packaging industry turning around? Uh, we've seen pretty bad numbers coming in from the entire sector and uh, yours just showed a net loss. So I think we'll have to split this problem into two. One is India and other is the global. So while India is a clear case of bunching of our capacities at one point in time in the in the current year, uh, you know, beginning with I would say about uh, six to eight months ago, uh, overseas it's a problem. Europe and America, particularly, which are very large markets for us, and we have manufacturing facilities as well as we trade in a lot of product over there as well. Uh, so there, you know, it's a structural issue what uh, what we are facing. So there is a lack of consumption uh, because, you know, in Europe, the energy prices have gone up, the, uh, the mortgage costs have gone up, and in U.S. with the quantitative tightening, as well as the rising interest rates, it's affecting the consumption in, in some ways as the consumers align their budgets to pay more for the mortgages and for the energy in Europe and pay for the more, more of the mortgages in uh, USA and coupled with the high inflation in US. So if if we all believe that, you know, the, the increase in the Fed-led uh, interest rate is coming to an end, I think we'll see the light in the, one, uh, in the next one or two quarters. India, uh, um, let's talk about India. India, there are few plants which got bunched together, and that's why we are seeing a bit of a, a bit of a overcapacity, which is leading to these crash in prices. I think that will get adjusted in next three to six months time or so, because you know we 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 typically seen that India on an average can accommodate two new capacities coming on screen in a in a particular year. So I think that is another maximum three months kind of a thing that, you know, we see. BOPP already we see uh, that, uh, you know, the prices have been better in this quarter as compared to last quarter. Uh, but the PET, uh, BOPET is, uh, is, is what is in the we, we are all watching. And being an industry leader, along with the other right. industry players, we are we are we we sure that you know this position gets corrected in in about three months' time. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, of course, uh, this quarter, the quarter gone by, uh, was hit by a one-time charge on your balance sheet and PNL account. 
uh, in the subsequent quarters do you see uflex turning positive the reason why i ask this is uh, we've uh, seen very very deep undervaluation on the entire sector i mean 14000 crores is your top line and market capitalization is just uh, 2700 crores uh, the market is completely completely ignoring the sector uh, what would be your forecast for the coming three quarters as far as uflex's bottom line is concerned sir i think uh, if we see this this quarter we saw about 9.3 percent uh EBITDA margin on a top line of about 3300 odd crores so i think as uh, you know our the harbar facility got commissioned from 1st of april and that's why in india we've seen a 22 percent volume growth uh, in the Q1 uh, over uh, on a YOY basis. Uh, we will also see uptick in demand in the expo in the global markets. So overall, I think given this exception loss uh, kept aside, I think for the year as a whole, we'll definitely be, uh, you know, into the profits. I hope that the margin profile improves from about 9. 3% currently to about 12% on a on a for a year as a whole basis and we see the silver lining uh, at least in h2 so that's that's uh, that that's what uh, what we feel that should be the order of the uh, fy24 for us okay um, could you also talk to us about uh, your debt reduction plans going forward our uh, debt reduction is happening on its own uh, you know we have uh, when we go do any capex projects and all that so there are uh, certain uh, amortization sh uh, schedules which are which are there as as part of that uh, debt that we raise so that's happening that's about 500 crores uh, happening each year uh, for us uh, but because, you know, we are also constantly expanding and adding new capacity, which means you are adding more of the top line as well as the bottom line. So if we see ourselves five, year, five years before and now, I think we've more than doubled in our top line as well as the profitability. So while the debt is being added, I think we are looking very cautious, uh, cautiously that, you know, we are, uh, we do not get settled with an extra debt what cannot be uh, what is non-sustainable so we will be very conscious of that and we will uh, we'll take care of that having said that about 500 to 600 crore is the annual amortization uh, mm. of the debt which will keep on happening mm. uh, but having said that wherever there are opportunities to grow in our field I think we we'll have to we we'll have to look at uh, those uh, growth plans uh, you know uh, a septic packaging, uh, particularly if you've seen that, you know, we hit our uh, capacity constraints uh, in the current year for for what we can supply. Uh, you know, the market has been also soft this year for the septic packaging, given that, you know, we had early monsoon this year, which means that, you know, the demand for uh, any liquid juices or drinks and all that goes down. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but you know, we also had a capacity constraint. We could, could yeah. do on that. So by the end of next fiscal, uh, this fiscal, we'll have our uh, capacity expanded to about 12 billion packs a year, which is which is not uh, which is by debottlenecking our existing facility only at a small capex. So I think once that comes in uh, next year, we we'll, we will if we see about. Uh, 12 billion packs a year selling from this this business i think that that's uh, that that will add more to the revenues because there the margin profile is much better than the uh, flexible packaging as well as the packaging films so overall you know that business looks very promising and once we achieve a 12 billion capacity and we are we are able to sell that capacity so obviously, in the current plant, then there is no further, uh, you know, sort of de bottlenecking opportunities available. So we'll have to then look at in a couple of years, probably from now, 
uh, look at fresh investments in in some of these businesses where we are running at a very high capacity utilization level so mr bhati is there any possibility of the demerger of your packaging business also from your film business because that has also been something that the state has been watching out for for a long time i think uh, that's not on the cards uh, as of now because you know uh, both the business complement each other like you know india per se if you see our packaging films business and given that we are the largest flexible packaging company in the country also so there is a lot of internal consumption also happening uh, you know uh, in that uh, what we were planning to do rather about a year back was to look at uh, a us listing which we had to defer uh, because of the markets uh, you know didn't support us but you know at an opportune time we will uh, we will definitely look at that opportunity again and the valuation play in the global uh, markets is is far 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 better than what we see uh, you know the in how the india markets uh, you know sort of values uh, all the companies in in this segment but especially right. you know the packaging film segment so uh, i think that will be a game changer we thought so that you know uh, that will be the best because we have a substantial business overseas our overseas business itself is close to about a billion dollars today uh, and uh, that's a, that's a very substantial business right uh, mr bhatia uh, what is your existing capacity utilization overall and how much of fresh capacity are you going to add in this financial year so this financial year i don't think so we are adding any further capacity uh, by the end of this physical we would we would have uh, done the uh, uh, aseptic debottlenecking from current capacity of about 7 billion packs to about 12 billion packs uh, whatever capacities had to come on the packaging film side they are already they are already implemented and uh, as i said that you know from 1st of april we commissioned our dharwar project in 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 karnataka so there are no further large capacities which are coming on stream uh there is a there is a backward integration facility which we are setting up in panipat for making the uh, resin polyester chips uh in, in at panipat which will cater to our domestic as well as the international facilities so that will right. happen probably by the by the end of this fiscal as well right thank you mr bhatia for your time and uh, we sincerely hope that the coming three quarters uh, uh, would see you flex uh, india's largest uh, flexible packaging company uh, report a green tick on its bottom line if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe